Y'all, the living room and kitchen area is transforming. Like, transforming. We have the wood stove part over here that's in progress. Y'all, we just have a lot <laughs> going on at one time, as always. And then we just Unbox the refrigerator and the oven. Which they look amazing. Look at that. Ah, oh, that looks so good. Honor. Yeah, it's ain't that big drop cloth, hey. Yes, it's in the laundry room. Laundry room, where it? Um, towards the back of the laundry room by the dryer. Okay, all right, mm -hmm. thank you. You should like see it in plain sight. You just have to go. Keep I, going I, yeah, I dry. peeked in there, but I didn't see it. Yeah, yeah I got you. All right, thank you.
Ryan Stein, boys. Got a little work for y'all to do. Y'all hop on up and put your books on. And once y'all come out and help me real quick. Yes, sir. All right. Come on out. Right, you ready? Mm -hmm. Ready to do a little bit of work? Mm -hmm. So uh, I want you to grab one at a time. Take your time. Hold up. Wait, wait, wait. put it down. Wait for instructions. Ready to work now? Mm -hmm. Ready to work, Ty? Mm -hmm. All right, here are the instructions. Everybody listen carefully. I want everybody to grab one and slowly walk up the steps. And then walk in here. Let me show you where to lay them at. It's not a race. It's about enduring to the end. It's not about racing and trying to beat the next person. Because uh, you can drop it on your foot, hurt yourself. You can drop it and mess up the floors or something. But you see how I'm lining them up like this right here? Mm -hmm. We're going to complete that line right there. And then we're going to start another line. And then when we get down to the end down here, we're going to start stacking them on top of each other. That's what I want y'all to do. I want y'all to work on starting to stack them. I, I, I'm going to do the first row so y'all can know where to put them in. Then I want y'all to start stacking them on top of the other ones. And then, you know, once we get two on top, then we'll start putting three on top. Y'all got it? Yes, sir. All right, let's get to work, y'all. I've been trying to be my own guiding star, but it appears it hasn't taken me very far. Got my work crew out here with me. I've tried to see my uh, own I don't know how this is going to end. We'll see. But it's just been One brick at a time. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, down the deep when sheet. Good, yeah. yeah, good. See that red floor. I have lived in the choices I have made. What do I see? All hell fails when I try to push my way. But when I give in. about something worthwhile now i take a pause and i take a breath and listen to them and i know how to begin with a open heart and mind and arms laid down you're all in hate and arms left in the light of day and let jesus show the way but hey i'm not religious and i'm I can stand the way the most priests talk in the state church or elsewhere. All right, IG Farm family, as y'all can see, we're getting started. We're getting ready to get started on our wood stove. I got I had those bricks there for uh, the bottom. We're gonna put down a cement board, and uh, it's just a busy day today. We got a lot of stuff going on, and uh, we have the appliances being delivered somewhere between nine and twelve, I think. And then we also have, a, uh, I'm getting a quote for mini splits. I'm gonna get a quote for three mini splits. Cause I can do it myself, but uh, you know, I wanna have like a backup heat. Cause a uh, wood stove is gonna be our primary heat. Cause we love the heat with wood. You know, a lot of people use a wood stove as their backup heat. But uh, we use a wood stove as our primary heat. And then we'll set the thermostat usually, you know, to the furnace or something like that. Uh, you know, overnight, just in case it gets, gets cold on like some of those cold winter nights. And uh, we do have a furnace and I think I can get that furnace to work, but it, it, it would take away some of the square footage uh like places to put couches and beds and things like that because uh we covered up a lot of those uh floor vents and we're not going to use them but we didn't cover them all the way like we're covering them up with, with furniture and stuff like that you know what i'm saying like beds and things and uh, maybe a rug here and there but uh, if we ever decide you know I, I try to think ahead because if we ever decide to sell them you know somebody might want to use the central air and heat they might not want to use a wood stove or mini splits you know so I'm gonna leave those in place because the ducts are still good, the vents are still good, you know. And uh, like I said, you probably can get the furnace going and uh, just hook up a, a out, outside uh, units for central heating in there. But uh, we, we we don't really want to do it that way, you know. We want to be have things that we can maintenance ourselves, like mini splits, you know, very very simple systems that we can replace or maintenance if we if we need to. You know, if one goes out, we can just replace the thing on the ball and hook it back into all the lines. And uh, you know, firewood, you know, we got firewood all around the property, and so we want to, you know 
sustainably, you know, uh, grace sufficiently, <laughs> you know, uh, heat and cool our home. So yeah, that's, that's the plan for today. Got, like I said, wood stove being installed. So y'all will see me back and forth doing wood stove uh, installation, cutting out floors, cutting out the, the uh, baseboard around the edges, putting down cement board, trying to get the, uh, the blocks on the bottom. Uh, I think those are just pavers, uh, but they had like a real rustic look. That's what I'm going for. Cause some of them are like white. Some of them are like, a, a reddish brown some of them are a little darker and i'm gonna try to like mix and match them and then uh we're gonna do like a uh what's the word for it a smear a german smear uh between them i don't know if y'all know what that is or not but y'all see the whole process of course y'all know we're gonna record it and document it uh so i love it i love it but yeah uh y'all say i always repeat myself and i do it really for my my my, my, my mind you know so i can remember <laughs> what i have to do it's like i'm going over a checklist but one more time let's go over the checklist the checklist is today that between 9 and 12, we're going to have our, our appliances delivered. I'm going to be working on the wood stove between that. And then somewhere between 12 and 5, we have a, a service tech coming out to give us a quote for getting three mini splits installed. And uh, yeah, so if the quote is too high, I just install it myself. <laughs> but uh, I think it should be pretty reasonable. It shouldn't be too much. You know, they're just mini splits. So we're going to get going today. It's early in the morning. As y'all see, the sun is almost about to peek over the the, the tree line back there and uh, that's that, that that that's my alarm right there if that sun peeks over that tree line before i'm awake and before i'm going that means i failed for the day uh i heard i heard one time a man say he said uh a man ain't got no business letting the sun uh let him <laughs> letting the sun beat him up that might have been me i don't know <laughs> either i heard somebody say that or that was me i don't know y'all tell me what y'all think man ain't got no business letting the sun beat him up <laughs> All right, y'all, I'm going to get going and uh, get started on this wood stove hearth. Actually, I'm going to sit down and drink me some coffee and read the Bible because I got up early to get all this stuff unloaded out the van because I went late uh, last yesterday evening to pick up everything. I need to get out, get all the stuff out of the van, you know, so I can get it before Megan leaves to go and teach today. So uh, I'm going to get rolling, sit down for a second, drink a cup of coffee, read the Bible a little bit, and then get rolling for the work day. So y'all, for the rest of this journey for today, y'all just stay tuned. All right, y'all, like our first uh, visitor is here for today, like our air conditioning man is here to give us a quote on our air conditioner. So we're gonna go out and see him get in. Nope. All right. Let's just throw it open. Go out and uh, get us a quote for some mini splits. <laughs> so you're interested in mini splits, I understand. Yes, sir. Got it. Well, yes, sir. I got so, a couple different plans that you can kind of talk me through because yeah. I was thinking about doing three. Okay. But uh, there might be a situation where we can do two. Okay. But you, you let me know what you think, yeah, though. Yeah, I'd be glad mm. to. Yes, sir. Could we do this? Could we just kind of walk around the place? Let's do and it. Let me get some photos and see how you're laid out. Yes, sir. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's. Uh, now, how long have you been in the home, sir? Oh, uh, we've been in the home. Okay, if I take the cover off this and see Yeah, go ahead. Mm -hmm. I would say we, we've been renovating it for a while, but okay. we moved in probably about a month or two ago. Okay. Yeah, we're finishing out the renovations now. You doing most of it yourself? Yes, sir. Okay, mm -hmm, most well, of that's it. That's great. That is great. Hiring out a couple things here and there. Well, look, I understand that. That's right. It's a lot of work. Yeah, man. It sure it is. Right, so let's look at the. Got plenty of space here. That mm -hmm. looks pretty good. Oh, that does. Yeah, we sold our house in the city about uh ten months ago. Is that right? And moved moved down here. We we started off in our camper. Oh, and uh we, we uh-huh. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's right. Where and were you living in, in town? We were in Jackson. Oh uh -huh. yeah, I used to live in Jackson. Oh for real? I mm. sure did. I moved there in um nineteen ninety five. Okay. And uh and then we uh moved to the country. Yes in, sir. Uh, that's 2000. where it's at. Yeah. <laughs> the country's where it's at. That's right, yes sir. <laughs> So let's see here. Now you've got this central unit. Does that not work? It is not hooked up. Okay. Because it, it has, uh, you know, all of the ducts and stuff under there, but we just yes. want to move on from that. Got it. You yeah. want to go to the mini spot. Oh, uh, yes, sir. You know, some folks do that. They, they do. Because right? it's so many ducts and they, they're all in the way. You know, we, we, we kind of want to put our bed in this spot and oh, a couch I in this you. spot, but it was ducts there. So Because of the, so uh -huh. you want to have more free use of the Exactly. Floor. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, mm -hmm. sir. Okay, and so you're not even going to use that? Yeah, I'm not going to use okay. that. Yeah. I will, I'm with you. It just came with this mobile home. We bought a used mobile home and redid it. I got you. Because yeah. we were going to build a house uh, like right away down yeah. in this open section down here. Uh -huh. But uh, we said, let's get a mobile home and just get settled in for a minute. Oh, okay. And then we can yeah. build a house later. Mm -hmm. yeah, there you go. Yes, sir. There you go. Okay, so 
Okay, well, let's do this. Let's take a look inside. I'm going to put my shoe covers on here right quick. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see here if I can do this without falling down. Oh, yeah, take your time. <laughs> You're not going to hurt anything. <laughs> Oh, boy, you did fix this place up. Yeah, we... Hey, how are you? Good to see you this yeah. morning. Yeah, they're doing homeschool. All right, we homeschool too. Oh, we yeah. Were, yeah, we were uh, we were blessed with six children. And my, mm -hmm. my wife, the Lord helped her do a wonderful job homeschooling. Hey, Amen. Yeah. Yep. Uh, teaching them the scriptures is the main thing. That's right. It? Yep, yeah. that's it. Hey, boys. Hey. What's your names? Titus. Put her there. Titus. Titus David Sales. Oh man, that's wonderful Bible names there. What's that's your right. name? Noah. Good to see you. Noah. <laughs> Noah. Noah. You say Noah? Oh yeah. Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord, yeah. you know. Amen. Hi, Tim. Hi, Tim, like Timothy, right? N O A H. Oh, what's that, sir? Mm -hmm. N-O-A-H. You know you've got it down very good. Yeah, you, you say you took his time took his time pronouncing it because we've right. been working with him on that. Uh-huh. That's right. Good. Okay, so so tell me the room. So I'm gonna just kind of get a get an idea of the size, if that's okay. Okay, go ahead. Do, do what you need to do. Go ahead and measure the size of the space here. You're doing all the work. I'm just recording. Okay. <laughs> got to y'all just stay out of the way, boys. position your mini splits. Of course, the mini split really shines in an area like this mm -hmm. because you know it doesn't need the duct work. Yeah. But the, and, and it does the heating and cooling, does mm -hmm. both. Um, it, uh, quiet compared, uh, relatively quiet compared to a traditional entry level split system. Mm -hmm. So you can have it in the, in the space where you're okay. living without, cool. you know, just yeah. giving everybody a <laughs> Right, exactly. And so, um, so for instance, this is where you're going to get a lot of, I think, a lot of utility out of there. Okay. Now, um, so I would say, uh, with the disadvantage of a mini split, and you probably already know this, is that it only blows air from where you have it mounted on the wall. Yeah, that's uh -huh, the deal. right. So it has to circulate. Uh -huh. that, that's right. So you you kind of have to think strategically. Where would I want mm -hmm. to place these? So I'm thinking now. Uh, you know, you could theoretically put let's see, probably no more than three. Okay. I'm trying to figure out a way that you could do two. Um, well, let but, me give you a strategy. This is okay. one thing you might want to think about is uh, you know, the mini splits come in two configurations. You've okay. got some that have, you can have multiple inside units and they all ride on one outside unit. Okay. Or you can have inside units that has its own outside units. So mm -hmm. you'd have three inside units and three condensers. Now, okay. um, I have found historically when I've priced those out that mm -hmm. having the separate condenser for each inside mini split yeah. is a more economical solution. Okay. Yeah. Which is kind of opposite of what you might think. Yeah. But those condenser with that shared, uh, the shared condenser, I think because of the nature of it, it it's, it's more costly, I suppose. Yes, sir. Now, so here's one thing you can do is you say, you know you want one in here for sure. Most definitely. Mm -hmm. So what you could do is just install one for now. Okay. And then test the waters. Oh, see yeah. See how it works. That makes sense. And then once you once you determine that, you can say, hey, you know what? Add I think we're done. This yeah, is great. I think we need to, yeah. Or you can say, you know, it's not quite getting this space here, mm -hmm. so we, you can add that later. Yeah. So okay. that's a, uh, that's a, that's a, that's one option you can take. So, um, 
Let's take a look at your electrical box in here. Okay. Electrical yeah. panel. Cool. Is it going to be on the laundry? It is. Okay. Yeah, it's demos and stuff, but it's, it's okay. in there. Straight ahead. Yes, sir. All right, y'all, I'm in here getting the quote, and we're almost done getting the quote for the air conditions. But as you can see, the uh, appliance uh, deliverers have come. So I'm going to see if I can get my air conditioning guy to move, and then we'll get the appliances delivered and set up in, in them. All right, y'all, so the, uh, we're almost done getting our quote, but he's not, he's not, he's not quite done. We, we got a couple different options. He's going to go ahead and pull out the way and let the uh, appliance dealers go ahead and pull up. Appliance deliverers go ahead and pull up and start unload things got a lot going on today y'all but it's fun times on ag farms today <laughs> yeah, it's a blessing it's like this is how it goes you know you you go months and months and months and everything seems to go so slowly but then uh but then everything just starts to to happen all of a sudden We tried to buy the one that would fit instead of trying to buy a big one there. So y'all had to take apart <laughs> for real. Uh. Yeah. Good. Uh. Going down. Yeah, you're gonna have to do. Alright y'all, we got everything uh, squared away with the appliances. Now I'm gonna get back in here and then get everything squared away with the mini split installers. We got a couple good quotes and uh, we got a couple different systems that we're gonna try, try to see uh, navigate through. And so we just gotta decide which one we wanna go with. So let me sit down and get this figured out and then I'll pick y'all back up a little bit later. Alright y'all, I'm tired now. <laughs> Overseeing the, the crews that came out. But we got some good quotes. We have all of our appliances delivered. Boys, we got all the, all the appliances delivered. Y'all yeah. excited? Yeah. yeah. We had to get everything unboxed. I might wait for mama to get here to do all that. Because I'm yeah. tired. It's about lunchtime now. Yeah, it's lunchtime. <laughs> I, don't, I don't feel like I did any work, but uh, I need to take a break and get a little bit of lunch. All right, so lunch. All right, yeah, mama got us some uh, sunflower butter. Not peanut butter, but sunflower butter sandwiches back here. But we're gonna take a break, y'all. Eat a little bit of lunch, and uh, maybe I'll pick y'all up once Megan gets here, and then we'll start unboxing these appliances and getting them getting them set up. I still have to do a little bit of work on like the water lines and all that type of stuff. So we're not gonna be able to use an ice maker and uh, water 
make a thing on the refrigerator right now. But uh, like I said, I gotta get that plumbed out. I think we can plug it up and use it to like cool food and things without using the water. Maybe it's like a switch somewhere so it don't burn out the ice maker and thing without having water in it. Yeah, but we definitely get the stove hooked up. And uh, I have to do some work on the dishwasher as well, running some, some, some drain lines. Cause I really have to wait. Yeah, I have to wait to do any work up under here. That's why I hadn't did it yet. Because they hadn't got the countertops in yet. Because uh, in order to connect these drain pipes to the sink, the sink needs to be secured. Because right now the sink, you know, it's still it's not screwed down and thing. It just goes back and forth. And so uh, once they once they do the countertops, then I'd be able to and, and the sink is secured. I have to wait 24 hours, they said, and then I can connect all the pipes. And once I connect those drain pipes, then I can start like running my wires. My uh, I can run my wires to my dishwasher over here, put my plug in, and then I can run my drain hose and my water line. I'm gonna just drill a hole through that cabinet, come on down through this cabinet here. And then come out this cabinet behind there and then come all the way down through there and then have a line coming out right there for the uh, refrigerator lines and uh have the same thing with the drain lines for the dishwasher and everything just have it all tied into this here because you can see they already had some of that stuff tied in already but i'm gonna redo all up to make it fresh make sure it doesn't leak but i'm gonna take a little break y'all uh dismiss the boys from home school get a little bit of lunch in me get a little bit of liquids in me and i'm gonna get back to work
walk the same roads every day We both get there our own way Thistle and an apple tree How different two souls can be But we both grow from the same sorrow can be like a tree in the wind same old roots but i can bend turning to understand and sway together now it's almost like a dance rendering All right, y'all, I got my flooring, my uh, cement board cut. As you can see, I have it cut and it's about a little bit over an eighth of an inch there. Probably about an eighth of an inch there. I just got a little bit of, you know, <laughs> room for that floor to move. You can see the line there where I'm gonna cut the flooring that I made in the pencil. But I have the uh, cement board cut out in the shape that the hearth will be. And I, now I'm gonna get the cement board out of the way. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut the floors. It's gonna hurt my heart. <laughs> yeah, that's how it is. Just like when I put that uh, floor plug in right there, it just hurt my heart to, to cut into my floors that I worked so hard on. And uh, a little bit nervous to, to, to mess it up, but that's just how it goes. You do the finishing work sometimes, you have to cut into stuff that <laughs> you work so hard to get perfect. But uh, cause I could have waited or either drew out the line there, you know, when I did the floors. But uh, like I said, I just, I, I didn't know exactly how I was going to do the wood stove hearth, and it didn't really come to me until I saw the wood stove sitting in here, you know, with the flooring and the walls done. So I'm going to go ahead and cut into it, and I'm not really worried about, concerned about uh, having to take this up, because uh, if somebody goes through the <laughs> the effort, or if I go through the effort to take this wood stove hearth, hearth up, that's going to be uh, mortared down with bricks, and it's going to have bricks going all up the wall and the mantle. If I go through all that trouble to take that up, I can just go through the trouble and <laughs> redo the floors or patch them in how I need to. But that's cut out. That was that. And if any of you all are uh, cutting um, this cement board, when I started off cutting it, I was doing it. You saw with the uh, box blade, I was just scoring it. 
And that's, I think that's how you're supposed to do it, you know, because I didn't really have a saw blade that could cut, you know, concrete at least. But I realized that this is not regular concrete. Like, this is like a soft, you know, like fabricated <laughs> concrete. It's not like a real concrete where I need concrete blade, need a concrete blade. And so I had the idea to stop struggling with it and scoring it with the knife and then try to break it, you know, like you do sheetrock. Instead of doing that, I said, let me try to saw and see if the saw cut through it. Saw cut right through it. So if any of you all are ever trying to uh, cut some of this cement board here, just know, you know, FYI, that your saw, your, your skill saw with just a wood blade on it will cut this stuff. Because like I say, it, it, it's a cement board. It's considered cement. You know, it's fire uh, proof or fire retardant where you can put the wood stove directly on there. You know, actually, because we did that in the in the barn. We were living in the barn. We turned the barn into a cabin and took the camper to it for over last winter. But uh, it's a fire retardant and it is actual cement, but it's not like hard cement like these blocks are here. And so you can just use your regular wood saw to cut through it. Now, I don't recommend it if you want to keep your blade sharp, <laughs> but uh, if you get in the bind and you're tired and you're hot and uh, you're tired of scoring it with the box blade, you can do it with your, with your saw. All right, y'all, let me, let me go ahead and cut it to these floors. All right, y'all, it's done. It hurts my heart, but it's done. Got that, got those angles cut out. And uh, now I can go ahead and start getting my hardy board, lay it back in place, my cement board, lay it back in place and get start getting it attached to the floor. And then start getting the cement board on the walls attached. So I'm rolling now. I got the floor cut out. There's no, no turning back now. So uh, let's just keep on getting it, keep on working. I might take a little break and get back to it. But like I said, I'm gonna start getting this cement board attached to the floor now. All right, y'all, the cement board on the floor is done. And uh, it's solid, I got it screwed down well. Got out everything cut, everything looks nice, straight lines and are precise. And uh, now I need to go ahead and start getting the cement board up on the wall. I need to take that plug cover off right there. I'm gonna have to float that plug out. That plug there is in the perfect spot, actually. It's uh, it's, it's enough distance away to where it's not gonna melt it <laughs> like some of you thought. Uh, it's, it's the right clearance. And it's also gonna be used to plug our blower into. So uh, let me just show y'all what I got going before I start on the wall. Bring y'all in a little bit closer. Let y'all see these edges. How I got that gap there. Trying to do it right. I had to cut there a little bit as y'all saw on camera because it was touching there. 
I just want just a little bit of space, even if it's just a small little centimeter. Right there is a little tight, but I think it'll be all right. Y'all can see I got it screwed down well. And uh, like I said, I'm gonna get these, these boards. See, I got thinner boards for the walls and I have my studs marked out. The studs are 24 on center in here and I got them marked off. And uh, the only problem is that I have two studs here, but then at the end, I don't have a stud. It should be fine, but uh, I might be able to, to do something, figure something out. But I'm gonna go ahead and start, start getting these uh, boards attached to the wall and uh, get that plug floated out and everything and try to go ahead and get that done. And, and after that, I go ahead and start laying out my block and then I figure out which ones I need to cut. Like I said, I'm gonna do like a diamond pattern just to give it a little bit more of a design. And we're gonna do a German smear. I don't know if y'all know what that is or not, but you'll see it along this process. So let me go ahead and start getting these walls put up, this fire fireproof wall backing. All right, y'all, this is as far as I get. My drill uh, battery ran dead. As I told y'all, the power is out. As far as I got, I almost got done uh, screwing this piece in. And uh, there are little spots here that you can see, you know, where they tell you to screw in it. And then I have a stud here. So I'm screwing down to this stud. Then I have a stud there. It's just really screwing into the sheetrock. It might be catching the stud somewhere else. But I got that screwed in. I got to get done doing that, put the other piece in. And then do these pieces on this side. But like I said, I got to, I think, I, think I'm, I think the power's supposed to come back on there one. That's what the text message said. So I'm, I'm gonna just wait and, and charge my drill up and do that instead of crank, cranking the loud generator up. But I'm gonna go ahead and start getting these blocks laid out so that I can see which blocks I have to cut and all of that. And I'm gonna show y'all this diamond uh, setup that I'm gonna do. So let me start getting these blocks laid out and let's uh, see if we can figure out how this floor is gonna lay. And I might go ahead and start cutting, uh, cutting the ones that need to be cut. I found peace, I could have swore What she did shook me to the core And I ain't gonna live like that no All right, y'all, we got all of our whole bricks laid out. And as uh, you can see, there's a couple of them here. It's going to need to be chopped off, nipped off at the edge right there. That just lets me know I got a good, uh, you see how the same amount is hanging over on each one? That lets me know because I took a lot of time, a couple days actually, getting this thing symmetrical to where it was even on that side and on that side and the same distance and everything. Let me just step back, let y'all see how it's going to look. And uh, I'm debating on whether that's enough room in between them for that German smear or not. I think that might be enough room because I want a big, big uh, grout line because uh, the German smear is just like you use a little squeezy thing to uh, squeeze out the grout and it goes in there and then you kind of just smear it over top of the thing and uh, it gives it like a real good like rustic look because we're going for that whitewashed rustic look. We're not going for like a dark uh, stained rustic look but more of a whitewashed uh, clean looking rustic look but that's it y'all i got a bunch of leftover bricks not that many really because i gotta cut probably let's see one two three four five six seven nine ten eleven twelve two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so i got i got about probably about 15 too many bricks we can probably find something to do with those around here but it's looking good so far uh, power just came back on y'all see the fan is on it feels so good and the power just came back on, so now I can plug my drills up, let them charge. But I'm probably just leave this project there for today, and uh, cause I'm ready, boys. Y'all ready to get this refrigerator and stove and stuff? Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. So we won't have to walk to the barn anymore. You're not ready, Ty? He passed out. Okay. <laughs> Ty's always passing out. He, Ty's like mama, over dramatic. Well, let me get, let me give y'all a sneak peek. We're gonna wait till Megan gets back. I tore into it a little bit, and uh, I even because I at first I was panicking because I was like it has uh some scratches on it already, you know, because you hear about the black stainless steel and how it's easy to scratch and all that type of stuff. But then I, I sat there and worked and looked at it for long enough and I was just getting ready to get upset. <laughs> I think we made a mistake, but I realized that they have like a protective coating on top of it that has to be pulled off after you get done handling it. That's a sneak peek of the refrigerator. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna put y'all down for a minute and we're gonna wait till Megan gets here and uh, let her see what I've done for the whist up. Ah, oh, that looks good back there. Man, it looks good. I love it. Looks just like what I was imagining. You know, it's just a, it's a beautiful thing to be able to create, you know. Because uh, that's, that, that's really a part of God's nature, God's character. It's like God, you know, his spirit, the Bible says that in the, in the beginning, the, the, the earth was void and dark and desolate. And uh, it says that God's spirit was hovering over the face of the deep. And he said, let there be light. And he started creating things on the first day and the second day and the third day and the fourth day and the fifth day. And I believe on the sixth day, God created us like from the dirt of the ground. And then he said that it's not good for man to be alone. Like everything up until that point, God said it's good. He said, let there be light. He said it's good. He said, let there be a firmament between the, the waters above and the waters beneath. He said it's good. He said, uh, let there be animals running through the fields. Let there be trees. Let them let the dew water them. He said it's good, it's good, it's good. But on that sixth day, if I'm not mistaken, when he created man, after he created man, and he saw that man had no 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 thing no thing that had been created that was that was comparable to him god put man into a deep sleep took one of his ribs and made woman and then he said it's good again you know because he said it's not good for man to be alone and then when he made eve when he made woman he made adam a helper like like someone that could that could be a companion that could be a partner with him in the mission he said then it's good and he said at that point it was complete and god rested the bible says that's a beautiful thing to be able to create, to be able to envision these things and put our hands to them and just see these beautiful things come to life. And uh, I'm just going to sit here and relish in it for a minute, get a little bit of liquids in me, a little bit of water, maybe even a little bit of lunch. And uh, once Megan gets here, like I said, we'll pick y'all back up. And then we'll do a big unboxing of all of our appliances and get them put in place. I still have things to do, like water lines and things like that. But I think we can plug the refrigerator up and, and let it work and cool and, and uh, freeze without uh having the ice maker hooked up hopefully i don't burn anything up <laughs> i might have to do a little bit of research before i do that but we'll pick y'all back up when megan gets here and then we'll unbox all of our appliances and end today's video what's up ig family it's the farm mama back on the scene and i am absolutely excited to see what's going on in emma uh, we have been working at this wood stove hearth so tim is in there he's been laying bricks and cutting up flooring and i have not seen it so i'm excited to see what he's got going on and then we're gonna open up appliances so i'm super excited about that so i'm just gonna turn y'all around and you can see what I see. <laughs> so I'm headed in right now. Oh. Hey. That's a good first impression too because you know when you walk inside, that's the first thing you see. Oh, yeah. So yeah, it's going to be like um you know for the Emma for the look, you know, like when you walk in Emma, it's you're gonna be day. greeted yeah. by a wood stove. That's how I always like my house to be. First mm -hmm. thing you see when you walk in the front door is the wood stove. Mm hmm Yep, so that's how it's gonna be. Listen, it was a lot easier to move that wood stove this time, huh? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was doable. Possible. Possible, exactly. Without bending on the legs so For real. That's the one downfall of the wood stove is the legs. Mm -hmm. The legs. They're kinda wobbly because they're so long and the mm -hmm. wood stove is so heavy. Because they're made out of steel. Mm -hmm. But it, it's the pivot point. It's not the right, place. right. It's where they screw in. At. Yeah, because they're not like um, you know, like a solid thing. Yeah. They're like flat, and then they have an angle. Yep. So they're not all like on 
Exactly. Yeah, like that, that's one thing I would change. Yeah, they, they did have the pedestal model, mm -hmm. but I just wanted the leg model. Right, like country cottage cabin field. Yeah, you know? but yeah, it, it'll be fine. Once it's in place, it don't have to move. Right, it doesn't move. It's not like made to move. <laughs> but anyway, let me come over here and look at this. Okay, so you got one section of the hardy board up. Okay. I do. I like it. I like it. And so this is where you're going to have the cut pieces here where there are the spaces. Yep. I don't have Yes. You see how they go with the angle? I know. I'm so smart. I <laughs> figured that out. No, it looks really good. And then the cut pieces are going to give it that, that detail, you know, that you need. So I, I love it. Our German smear. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm you know, excited to do that. You know, it's so fancy. We know about German smear. I know. So, <laughs> did you know that it's named that because it's like mimicking like old cottages in Germany that were made with irregular stones? I just I saw it on YouTube, <laughs> and I said that'll be nice. Like that that that'll feel like a cottage. Right. And, uh, who know who knew but that it actually is like specific old cottages. Yeah. Yes, that were made. You, you would have thought that we were like playing that. I know, but I just saw that in the YouTube comment mm -hmm. of the video oh, that really you well. sent me. So I'm not like extra smart. I just looked at the comments. <laughs> so you're going for that country cottage cabin field, right. and we're adding things that we didn't even know were connected to like cottages. Mm -hmm. Because at first we wanted kind of wanted it to feel like a cabin, right? And then we wanted to make it bright and white, but we still wanted it to be rusty. Mm -hmm. And so instead of doing like a like dark stained wood, we started doing like white wash. Wash, yeah. Mm -hmm. So the German smear just goes in perfect, and it's a secret. Well, I guess it's a surprise on what I'm gonna do for the for the walls of the of the, uh, the, the firewall. Yeah. In the back. I'm gonna do a tile. I'm not gonna do a brick. I'm gonna do more of a tile. But I'll let let y'all be surprised by mm -hmm. it. The coming videos, yes. series of wood stove installation. We gotta save some stuff. We like yeah. to put it out there, sneak oh, yeah. peeks. We're, we're not good. listen. We're not good at holding back. If I go buy the towel before I put this video out, you know, I'm gonna put, <laughs> you I'm gonna put up a picture. Yes, yeah, he is. He is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm, I'm gonna put up a sign and say, "Act like y'all didn't see that." <laughs> <laughs> we're not good at holding stuff. But yeah, so he's got it on a diagonal, which I love that. And then he'll just cut the smaller pieces here. And I just like how kind of unique each stone is and rustic. And, you know, each one has a little bit of a different shape. Some of them are chipped off in different areas. And also a little bit of a different uh, coloring. That's what's so cool about it. So I don't know if they're just dusty because they were sitting outside or whatever. But I love it. I love it. Like I like how that one. See how that one's missing a little part. Like I love that. So that's really gonna give it that rustic look that we're going for. All right, y'all. So the next thing I'm really excited about is opening up these appliances. Oh, it was so hard last night. <laughs> Now, uh, open them up. I know. Because, uh, we wanted to open them up with you all. I know. But we wanted to also open them up for ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> he was peeking. He mm -hmm. peeked. You peeked. Yeah, I showed him the peek spot. <laughs> I was starting to, I was peeking and panicking. He just kept opening until he was like, okay, I can sleep now. Crazy. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. But it's time to actually open them now. Let's do this. So we'll, we'll take a little break because I'm still getting my. Liquid, I'm tired. <laughs> yeah, we didn't, there was no air conditioning going because the power no, was out the whole time, so I was sweating good. Maintenance, mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah. we'll just pick y'all up in a bit when we're opening the blinds. All right, y'all, we are doing this. We are opening our appliances. Of course, we're starting with the refrigerator first. Tim's favorite. Really good time. <laughs> He's been waiting on this refrigerator for a long time. We didn't get the knock on one, but I think he'll be happy with this one. Mm -hmm. It's funny to hear, hear you say that I've been waiting on this refrigerator for a long time. People think that men don't care about like, you know, mm -hmm. refrigerators and stoves. That's right. Cabinets and all that.
doing my I see you right using now. your new uh plug that uh you got drywalled in. Mm -hmm. All right, you got a plug in. Made a noise. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, I see the temperature came on. Now we had a refrigerator made a noise on the plug. <laughs> Nope. The, uh, mm. It did something else when you moved. Like it made another noise and the display went off for a second. Thought maybe it had turned off, but click back in. Alrighty, getting it in this uh spot. That's it. That's it. That's it. I was gonna be flushing. Me too. But I guess that, that just shows you how, how much it would have come out. out if it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good on the sides. Yeah, looks like it's all the way back. Mm -hmm. Looks good. Mm -hmm. We're gonna take this plastic off? Oh, yeah. Most definitely. Try to so, plastic on time. Get through the water line. Huh? <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have to move it out again. Oh, look right, at the cool. lights. Now you can see it. Mm -hmm. That looks good. Yeah, I agree with you for probably taking some of those. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That looks good. We just have to get it all unboxed and figure out like uh how it works. It seems a little uh Fancy. Right. We got filters to put in and then Look, it beeped you, you, at us. You can have a different temperature in this drawer. Oh, uh, depending on what you have in yeah, there. Than the rest of okay, right. yeah, so it's got meat, cold drinks, so you can put drinks in there, I guess, or deli snacks. So meat would be called this, and then drinks would just be called, and deli snacks would be called. So, yeah, that's, that's neat. So I guess you could lay drinks like uh, it slides out. Mm -hmm. So I guess you could just lay the drinks like flat if you wanted to oh, okay. have canned drinks or something like that in there. Meat. Bottle order or whatever. Mm -hmm. Get out your way, sir. Yeah. Yeah, that uh, plastic is something else to get off. <laughs> you pull the drawer open. Too. Man, you look inside pretty. I know, I know. It's kind of like it's so much going on with it. You don't really know what to do uh first. Yeah, but the freezer should be nice. I really um don't uh like the drawer freezers like that because i feel like it's not a lot of space like she has like a big old drawer but mm -hmm. like that's that's your freezer space yeah a, bit of yeah a little bit more over there but i'm not worried about that for this refrigerator because we have a deep freezer we have a whole barn um, and somebody gave us the suggestion of doing um the uh stackable uh Washer and, washer and dryer in the laundry room so that we can have space in the laundry room for a deep freezer and that was just brilliant because that means i can have a deep freezer in here and i'm probably still gonna have one in the barn too right right <laughs> looks like you got it on it's a lot of fine tuning yeah a lot of little bits and pieces so, but the color, as y'all can see, is really like almost exact, if, if not exact. I cannot tell a difference between this stainless steel color, the black stainless steel, and then our gunmetal black stainless steel sink. So... We did a good job, actually, thanks to Mike, of matching up the colors of the black stainless steel. So, we still have 
Um, once we get the stove in, we still have to get a venta hood. We're thinking actually about getting the chimney style venta hood, but we're trying to figure out if we're going to try and match it up and get something else black stainless steel, or if we want to make it um, just an accent piece and maybe matching the open shelving or our existing cabinet. So we'll see about that, but we really did do a good job, I think, matching up the color of the sink and the appliances, so. All right, so Tim is continuing to take all this plastic off the refrigerator. We'll just pick you back up when we get all this tedious part done. Y'all, we have got the refrigerator all deplasticified. <laughs> we removed all the plastic from the refrigerator and it looks amazing. Look at there. No more trips to the barn. That's right. For just a drink of water or, <laughs> you know, leftovers or whatever. The barn refrigerator will be reserved for, you know, when you're outside and need a drink. <laughs> in the freezer. So that, that stays in there. We, I just now noticed this. That pulls, yeah. Yeah, I didn't even know that. Mm -hmm. All right, but now it is time to unbox the oven. Uh oh. It's just cardboard. It sounded loud. Yeah, I really do like the uh, black stainless steel. So it's got the handles on the front that are black stainless steel. And then it, the rest of it is black. So it's got those little accents like you were saying. Mm -hmm. yep. Look, and we have some more uh, silver uh, little protective filming <laughs> to remove at the top. Got the little drawer there for some more storage. Inside there looks nice. Looks like an oven. Mm -hmm. It's nice and wide. I think I do have to do a little bit of wiring on the stove. Okay. So, All right. Plug in. Look at my drill bit. He keeps talking. Okay. Yep. So we're going to go ahead and slide the stove in place once he gets that wiring done gets the plug done and then we'll actually be able to see what the kitchen looks like and i think that's the thing um about going step by step with the process you kind of have to see things in place before you can decide on the next step so i'm actually glad that we have the refrigerator stove the dishwasher um so that we can kind of decide, okay, what do we want to do for the vent hood? Do we want to make it an accent piece now, or do we want to go again with black stainless steel? And it's the same with the fireplace mantle. Let me come around so y'all can see Tim do this installation. It's a little quick plug. But it's the same with the fireplace mantle. We kind of want to get the stone in place and see and then be able to like make an artistic yeah, <laughs> judgment yeah. uh -huh. about what should go there next, like what would look good yeah. in the space. And so now that we have all our appliances, I think we can kind of be artistic and think, okay, do we need to go again with some black stainless or can we add something that will make the kitchen, you know, have something similar to the fireplace. Mm -hmm. So, and then. I think it's something else. Need something else? Yeah. Oh, okay. But we also want to add um, backsplash in the kitchen too. So all those elements have to tie in together. So we're just kind of taking it step by step and seeing how things look 
as we go because it's like layers that we're adding to this this process of building the kitchen and building the the heart the heart of our home you know with the wood stove it just represents the like fire of the holy spirit like that. the heart of the home yeah building the heart the heart the heart of the home i don't know we have to look at the uh the background of the word hearth yeah, if yeah. it's connected to heart or heart, something yeah. like that but mm -hmm. that's what it makes me think about because the the wood stove for us it just represents like the fire of the holy spirit like that heat source that life source like god and um you know just reminds us of that that fire that sustains us is god you know and that he created fire even to be a representation of himself, a representation of the Holy Spirit. And so that kind of pulse in the center of our home, which literally is in the center of our home, um, we want to make all those things special, you know. That's right. So it'll be pretty simple wiring here. Yeah. Put that up through there. And then on this one, so we got four wires. So the black is the hot, right? On this? Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. and then green is the ground. Green is the ground. Yeah, that's right. You taught me that. And then I'm not sure what white is. Neutral, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Neutral. White is white, huh? Exactly. <laughs> I don't know. You know how it is when somebody's oh. saying that you can't hardly think about it. Right. <laughs> if you would have said it, somebody would have. Yeah. Let's see. I got a little bit of, um, it's a little black thing with some drill bits in it on top of the wood stove oh, over yeah, there. Oh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, okay. I put the camera down. It's kind of treacherous in our laundry room. <laughs> it's always on the wood stove, but you can put the camera oh, down. Oh, it's on the wood stove? Okay, I thought it was in the laundry room. I just misheard. I didn't hear you, and I just assumed I was half listening. It should be some I see it. I see it. Yeah, I just last saw it in the laundry room, so I didn't hear what you said. I just yeah. had what was in my mind. Thank you. <laughs> Need this big long one here. There you go. I won't strip no screws out. <laughs> For real, please don't. So what about red? What is that? Well, this is a different type of uh, system, system here. System, isn't it? It's a four wire, so it's oh. like 40 volt or something like that. Mm. I don't know nothing about this. <laughs> you just know what that tell you, huh? I just know that there's it. a, a <laughs> diagram right there, and I'm gonna do exactly what it says. <laughs> yeah, that's why, because this is the four prong. Yep. So that's a different system. So that, that's starting to make a little bit of sense to me now. So like when you do the camper system, that's different from a house, which is like what, 120 yeah, volt? You know, we, we wired up the camper mm -hmm. off grid with solar panels. Right. So it's all 12 volt. 12 volt, So right. it's just two wires. Mm-hmm. But then you come in the house, you got, you know, and even on the camper, you know, you, you go to- uh, 120 volts. 120, yeah, mm -hmm. so it's three wires. And then you go up four wires and you just keep going up. Right, up. right. And the things change because it's a different volt voltage system. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Knowing just enough to be dangerous. <laughs> Best to hand tighten these screws first. Yeah, so you don't back strip them. Bow up on them. Okay, so next to our white wire. Like I said, this is super simple because they have the diagram for right you. there. Foolproof. <laughs> like they say. Yeah. I'm excited. We're actually going to have a stove. I guess I can make y'all some banana bread tonight. Oh, yeah, what you think about that? For real. We do a lot of baking. Mm -hmm. we had, that's, that's, that's the biggest part of having stoves, actually. Yes. We, we've been had a stove top in the camper, you know. Yes. It's been the oven, you know. Yes. The breads and all the that. The breads and the 
the when you gonna start making bread from scratch? Lasagnas and I might. Let's see. I don't know. I might make out a batch of bread tonight. We'll see how much. We just gonna go all out. How much flour I have? How much? If I can make banana bread and the, the daily bread. The are ready for uh, oh, May's yeah. kitchen. I know. I know. Y'all gotta give us a name for what we're gonna call Megan's kitchen uh, vlog videos. I like daily bread. Daily bread. Yeah, mm -hmm. This one flying here. Yeah, we had to have the door open. Yeah, so. the last couple days. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, but I like calling it, you know, daily bread because it's about food, you know. But you know, it's not just gonna be about physical food. So you gonna have your spiritual. Food as well. Cause you know you cook when you, when you actually do break bread, you do it daily. Mm -hmm. So that could be a daily vlog. Mm -hmm. Like even on the days when we uh have a real like you know like a full video. Mm -hmm. Maybe we could do some shorts or something. Yeah, we'll see. But you know, making all types of different breads and recipes. You know what I'm excited about? What's that? Also, casserole stuff we used to bake. Like, how long has it been since we had lasagna? Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Chicken and uh, broccoli and rice. And, you know, roasted chicken. You remember how I used to roast those chickens in the oven? Mm hmm. Yeah, so. Coming soon. <laughs> Now that we got things hooked up. Mm -hmm. Have it in. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go back up our diagram one more time. Mm -hmm. Four wire connection, red wire. Red, white wire in the middle, white wire, black wire down here, black, green wire, brown, down here. Mm -hmm. Now let me get this connected so that it won't move. That's what that little clip is for. Okay. I was actually supposed to do that in the uh, floor plug, but it's all right. <laughs> Squeeze in there, plug it up. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Is it going to be a tight fit? But it's going to fit. How it going to be? Yes, no cracks and crevices. You do have to get it back out because it had the countertop shit. Yeah. Yeah, it's just gliding right in there, looks like. Cabinet installer kind of told us that the cabinet they're gonna have a little bit of wiggle to them, mm -hmm. so you might have to wiggle a little bit here. And yes, there. they wanted our stove mm -hmm. before they installed the countertops for that reason. where it said a uh, probe here right and we we're like what does it have a probe so you actually do have a probe mm -hmm. so you'll be able to know the temperature of your meat I while it's cooking in here mm -hmm. i need to get one of those on my grill <laughs> <laughs> fancy mm -hmm. all right y'all i'm so excited to have these things in place i got the oven in place i got the 
refrigerator in place, but we're gonna get it cleaned up in here a little bit so we can show y'all around and show y'all how lovely the kitchen is progressing. Y'all, the living room and kitchen area is transforming, like transforming. We have the wood stove hearth over here that's in progress. Y'all, we just have a lot <laughs> going on at one time as always. And then we just unboxed um, the refrigerator and the oven, which they look amazing. Look at that. Oh, that looks so good. Um, we decided to leave the dishwasher in this box for now just because we're not ready to put it in place. Tim has to move the water line so it used to be um that the dishwasher was over here in this section and when we redesigned the oven um or when we redesigned the cabinets the oven still had to fit over this venta hood section and so um because of that we ended up having to move the dishwasher over here so Tim's just gonna move the lines for the dishwasher over here and we'll get those uh, moved or he will get those moved and wired in later and we'll just unbox the dishwasher when we're ready to actually slide it in place. But it looks, we we'll just walk y'all in again like from this angle. It just looks so good. The stainless steel refrigerator the black stainless and then the up uh, like just look how perfectly the appliances match the sink so yeah the oven are in the refrigerator i was just really pleased with how well they match the sink so um if you do purchase this uh gunmetal black stainless steel sink from Home Depot, then just know that the Frigidaire black stainless steel appliances do match it perfectly. Like they really do go in well together. And now that I'm seeing this together, I really am thinking that we should go for a statement piece, maybe something wood for the Venta hood, just to pull everything and tie everything together and give it that cottage Feel. We need something warm <laughs> in this kitchen now. I love all the black stainless steel, but I'm ready to bring in something cottagey and warm and something that will accent these beautiful windows because they have the kind of wood look, the trim and the wood blinds. So it's just, it looks amazing. It really does look amazing. And we still have a lot of little detail work. We haven't picked out our um, drawer pulls yet, but I'm thinking we wanna go with something that just really brings in that cottage feel as well. What are your thoughts? Everything's looking good. I'm ready to get back started on this. What's the other part? I know. Cause that, that, that's my thing right there. I let you pick out your refrigerator and your stove <laughs> and your dishwasher and your gunmetal sink and all that good stuff in your cabinets. But this right here, <laughs> What's that's, what, that's what I'm going for. So I'm excited to get back started on that hard tomorrow. I might be able to get it done within the next couple of days. Mm -hmm. yeah, be able to place the wood stove and then start installing pipes and everything. Sounds mm -hmm. good. Boys, yes, come tell us what y'all think about the kitchen. Here they come. <laughs> okay. Kitchen, no. Kitchen. kitchen. That way. Go right we on. know you like the couch. <laughs> Let me come around. So, all right, boys, what are your thoughts? Yes! Y'all like the kitchen? Yes! All right, Titus, what's your favorite part about the kitchen? My favorite part. You gotta look at the camera, buddy. Go in the kitchen. Go in the kitchen. My favorite. Part is the refrigerator. Yeah, yeah, I figured that. What about you, Noah? My favorite top is the refrigerator 
Oven. Oven, great. My favorite part of the oven so you can cook these biscuits. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. Biscuits yeah. and gravy. Yeah. And sausage and biscuits. That, that, that sounds like something good for in the morning right there. Yeah. Biscuits I, I, and gravy with sausage. I can do sausage and biscuits. I don't have milk for, for sausage and gravy. Oh, okay. I guess it's fine. But yeah. yeah. Sausage and biscuits sound good. I can know. do sausage and biscuits. Oh, sausage and biscuits. That's right. Y'all ready to end the video, boys? Yeah! yeah! All right, y'all, we've had an exciting day of unboxing these wonderful appliances and our kitchen is becoming more and more complete. And I'm excited about the wood stove and the hearth that we got going. I really think that we're gonna be able to have this section, the living room slash kitchen area, like nice and homey and cozy by winter time. So that's our that's our goal to really be at home in here, have some cookies, bacon on the couch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is, it is. So we're just gonna end the video right here for today on this I know. So IG Farm.